YouTube kick. I just want to talk about this right quickly. So I was mentioning um, that I used to have more viewers. I used to average more viewers a stream, but something I changed. If you go back and watch my earlier live streams, you'll notice that I used to show women in them. Very pretty women. But, and the reason I did that was to give you guys something to look at. I thought that if I showed myself and presented myself like this, that most people didn't want to see that. Um, and uh, maybe some low self-esteem stuff in there. I'm not sure. I don't remember that being the problem. I just thought that if I put women in the background, that people would want to um, listen to me talk. So I would. It was kind of like when you know when you watch somebody on YouTube and they show you a video game instead of their face, and so you just watch, you just hear their voice, and then you watch video gameplay, like faceless YouTubers, right? Um, so I used to show women doing try on hauls, sexy try on hauls, um, the women, you know, women with the big booties, big breasts, and, you know, I was showing that and because I know it would keep people's attention. So people would come in and to be fair though, <clears throat> people weren't listening to what I had to say. People were really engaging in the chat, even though I was showing them all these kind of women. But, um, to be honest with you, morally, I thought it was wrong because if I was trying to teach people to stay away from pornography and I was trying to teach people to not fall for these kind of things, it kind of goes against the grain um, what, if I'm showing them this kind of stuff that can tempt them. So I stopped doing that. So I want to say that's one of the reasons my viewers, average viewers went down from when I first started. Um, funny enough, though, I got the most followers I ever got when I was putting together this weight bench you see in the back. I was putting that together or I was putting either that together or my dumbbell thing. And people wanted to people follow me a lot because I was doing that without my shirt on. But uh, I don't do that anymore. Because, I, once again, I'm trying to get better at being more professional. Um, and one of the things I do hate is that sometimes I, when I'm doing my smoke things, I tend to lean back in my chair. But, but that's because this chair doesn't have a very good back support. So I tend to lean back uh, like this. And when I do that, my belly tends to show, right? Just like it just did right there. Like, I'll show my belly, like this bottom part. And it looks kind of sloppy, and I hate that. I want to sit up like this most of the time. But when my back, you know, my... Because I don't have much back support, I try to lean back. But what ends up happening is I end up doing this, right? I end up doing this. And then, so, I, you see, and I'm a fat guy, you know? And so, my fat just kind of pours out. You see my back fat right here, back fat here. And it looks really sloppy when I really want to sit like this most of the time. But after two, three hours, you know, your back starts to hurt. And so, one thing I want to kind of invest in is probably a back support right here. That way, it doesn't hurt my back. And I can sit up straight. So I'm probably going to invest in one of those <clears throat> and do that. Um, sorry, I just kind of went off there. But I just wanted to say that, you know, I'm trying to get more professional. And I knew I couldn't keep that up. If I kept showing women like that, like, like I said, guys, I, I'll keep mentioning this. And actually, I'll stop mentioning this eventually. But I, I want to do live radio or do live TV or live YouTubing. Um, I want to work for a company. A company wants to say, hey, you know, Trey's doing a good job. Or let's hire him on. Um, and you're starting to see YouTube do that more. They're starting to take, instead of a creator having to do everything by themselves, a company may hire that creator, take care of all the business part of it, and you just make the videos, right? And so that's kind of what I want to get to, but nobody's going to take me nobody's gonna take me seriously if I'm always looking sloppy. Maybe some people will because they just have a big enough following, but I don't want to present myself to children. Uh, one of the big things I want to pride myself on is that my demographic is not children. I don't have a lot of... Uh, 18 to 25 year olds. I have 25 to 34. So most of the people I'm talking to are adults. And so I want to keep up that persona and I want to keep my content more in the adult realm. I don't want kids in here. I, I just don't. I don't want teenagers really following me and stuff like that. So I don't talk about stuff that teenagers really care about. I don't talk. I don't do a lot of red pill talk. I don't talk about women to that degree um, unless I disagree with something they're doing. But for the most part, I don't get in here and just bash women. I don't get in here and just talk about uh, men this, men that. I don't get in here and talk about uh, it's just silly little things. I try to keep it very adult, so I so I talk more about pornography and I talk more about um, the dangers of this or um, the dangers of smoking too much weed. THC. No kids want to hear that, and so I try to try to keep it as adult as I can. And so one day I want to make this into <clears throat> a career of doing this. Not like I said, I don't know necessarily know if that'll be live streaming, but kind of like what the daily. Be honest with you, the Daily Wire is a big... I don't think I'll ever be part of the Daily Wire because those people are really um, um, talented. But they're politicians. They go speak at schools. They're way further along than I am. Um, but I... And I don't know. I don't... Honestly, 
at this point in my life, I don't know how to even get there. I'm going to work on that and figure out what routes will get me there. But one day I do want to be able to, I don't, I wouldn't mind speaking at colleges and stuff like that, but I, I don't quite know how to do that yet. Um, I have to figure out how to get into that because I see people doing it at 20 years old. <clears throat> I don't know if they just sign up for speak or they just say, Hey, I can speak or if they, or they're just so good. People want them to speak. I'm going to work on that, but I, I want to be able to do that kind of stuff. I want to be taken seriously because I do believe that there's a lot of stuff going on around these places <clears throat> and I want to help people as much as I can. And I also don't want to necessarily just, you know, be necessarily a politician or being in politics, but at the same time, I kind of have to be now. Um, I think with my age and the older that I'm getting, it would be foolish to stay a child. I think that some people a lot of the time want to stay a child and they want to just be like, oh, I'm 35 and I don't, I still don't have everything figured out. I still want to kind of go party and be free. I don't want that. I want the discipline. I want responsibility. Uh, like I said, I, <clears throat> I, I was ready for a child. It's the kind of stuff that I'm ready for because I know that that's what God calls us to be. We got to grow up and teach the young. And so I, I, I do want to do those things. And so I want the responsibility. Now, I have to get better discipline. As you can see, I'm overweight. And that's something I don't want to put on stage. My body as it currently is, is something I don't want to put on stage because I do believe if I'm going to talk about being disciplined and I'm going to talk about responsibility, my weight is part of that responsibility. And so if I don't take care of my health, I don't think I can reach as many people. But if I was in better shape and I talk to people about being in shape, then it matters. So that's part of the one of the reasons I quite can't push into what I want to. I think once I lose the majority of my weight that I can talk a lot more and I can talk with more confidence because I can be like, hey, I've lost weight. And so you shouldn't, you know, blah, 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 blah. And not to say that I'm going to get into people for being overweight, but I can be more like it is a much healthier way to live. We can't have ourselves falling off. And so anyway, I'm saying all this kind of stuff to say this is the reason I don't show women on my channel anymore. This is why when I live stream, for the most part, you're going to see my face. I intentionally do that now. There was times when I used to watch other channels. You'll notice sometimes when I'm reacting to a channel, I might not watch the whole thing or I'll get five minutes in and take them off. I do that intentionally. The reason I do that is because I don't want to, um, one, I don't want anybody thinking that I'm using their content to prop myself up. You know what I mean? Like your content is making my content because one, my live streams are way too long for me to be using your content to make my content. If I use five minutes of your content and I had to argue with somebody this one time, um, I won the case, but none the lowest less somebody wanted to take down my videos and copyright strike me. And I went against them because I, in the midst of that, I think I was in the middle of a two and a half. I used to live stream about six hours a day way back when, but I don't know. I was like, it was like two and a half or three hours into the live stream. I showed their video and I showed eight minutes of it. So even if I took just the, the first three hours of that live stream, I only used eight minutes of it. That is not substantially enough to say that percentage was too low. And I calculated it for this person. I calculated, I, I think I calculated what it was 2% of my live stream. It was, le or it was less than 2% of my live stream. So, so you can't copyright show me and say I'm stealing your content when all I did was react to eight minutes of it and I provided three hours of commentary compared to the eight minutes that I watched of your video when I was talking for three hours and eight minutes of your video. Anyway, they lost. They lost that battle. Um, but nonetheless, so just, just, that's why I do that sometimes. Sometimes I'll be watching a video and I'll just cut it off because I don't want anybody thinking, oh man, he, he's being propped up. By, no, boy, I can, I can entertain by myself for hours on end the only reason i show that is to show people something different i just want some people to see how other people do stuff and sometimes i want to prop up another youtuber i want to prop up even though i'm small i'm a small youtuber obviously and they're way bigger than me but i still like to show other people and be like hey here's somebody you may not have watched maybe here's somebody else you enjoy i like to at least support the community in whatever way i can so i may watch somebody else you know and that's what I do it for. And to be fair, I want to say this too. Everybody I watch, even if they have less followers than me, I still, and this is something that kind of drives me, but even if a person has a hundred subscribers, to me, that's more than me. I don't care. If you're making videos and you have a hundred subs, to me, you're better than me. And that's just how I see it. I, I don't care about the numbers. It's like if you're making videos and you're getting views to me, your competition and that's healthy competition. I mean, even though I may, sh I'm, I'm still going to show people and I still want people to go watch you and everything. I'm still trying to outperform you. 
And so sometimes I do that, watch those videos to be like, man, this is what I can do better. Look at how they're doing this. Look at how engaging they're being. I, I try to learn something from even smaller people, who, YouTubers than me, because I think there's, that's just a competitive nature in me. You know, it's even when somebody's smaller than me, I still see them bigger. And then obviously channels that are bigger than me, I, they're obviously bigger than me, you know? So I don't know. That's just kind of how I put everything into perspective. I think there's going to be a short video, so I'm not going to say anything else. Um, that's pretty much it. But I just wanted to say that's kind of why my content has changed. I have a goal and a passion in mind, and I won't get there if I use silly little tactics to keep you guys engaged. Just my thoughts.